Well, I've been with C-SPAN for a number of years now and accepted a apprentice welder position about a year ago. Welding is a challenge every day. You gotta bring your best skill set you can to the job. Not every job is gonna be the same. You, you do have to be prepared to be adaptable and be able to apply what you've learned physically and prove that you can do it day in and day out. My personal journey to become a welder was extensive. I ended up working night shift and going to the college during the day. So I was pulling double duty and it was a lot of hard work and dedication. You got to put in the work to be a welder. It's a, a great opportunity and it's great financially and it, it can take you a long ways in life. The resurgence of First Nations working in the, the yard is definitely present. C-SPAN has taken the onus to say, hey, we're working with First Nations. You know, sharing the C-SPAN policies and learning them together and learning cultural protocol, finding the happy medium. For me, it's always about giving back, being able to be someone for my kids to look up to, as well as fellow community members. They see the skill set that I've achieved and they, they want to find out more about it. They, they're people who approach me and say, hey, how did you do it? Was able to mentor some high school students that worked with C-SPAN and they were able to come in the yard as well as women at trades at Camosun. They, they want to learn about welding and what it takes to be a welder. So I would share my experiences with them. It's highly impactful because being an example for future generations of people of all heritage backgrounds are just giving back. It's important to me because welding will always be important to the shipyard. So as the shipyard succeeds, so does everyone else.